The Greensboro Pride Festival is just three days away. Thousands attend every year, but many may not know its humble origins. WFMY News 2's Manning Franks dug all the way back to 1989. Every year since 2006, the Alternative Resources of the Triad, or ART, has hosted Greensboro Pride Week, originally called Triad Pride. When they have the very first Triad Pride at what we now know as LeBauer Park, with about 400 attendees, less than 12 vendors, um, it was not anything close to what it is now. Although its roots branch even farther back to 1988 with the creation of ART and its hotline. Originally, ART's goal and purpose was to create a place to where the LGBTQ people of the triad had access to friendly doctors, lawyers, dentists, whatever they needed. ART was one of the first nonprofits in the triad to specifically focus on the LGBTQ plus community. However, even as the medium of communication changed, their mission had not. With the advent of the, the World Wide Web and computers, that sort of telephone situation falls away and it becomes more of a web-based situation. The goal was to make sure that the LGBTQ people, not just Greensboro, but the triad, understand that there was, again, that safe space, even if it was just on the phone. A safe place no longer just on a phone line, but translating to Arts Greensboro Pride Festival as we know it today. That is the purpose of the festival, is to be able to give people a space in public, not in a shadow, but on four blocks of the third largest city in North Carolina, to be able to come out and express themselves as they wish amongst people who understand and won't question. This year's Greensboro Pride Week concludes with that same festival this coming Sunday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. The free downtown event will include food, performances, and lots of fun.